Hi, here's a quick um, video of how to install Carmageddon onto Snow Leopard. Uh, well, first of all, insert your disk, um, and then in your home folder, create another folder which I've called Max Pack. Then copy over the contents of your CD, so select all those and copy, and then paste them into your max pack folder there you go so they're in there so that's that bit done now the next thing you need to download and install DOSBox and we need to mount that folder so let's see and that's the tilde sign the little squiggly sign max pack right now that should mount yep there you go that's mounted now we need to change directory to that so that's here let's see colon slash right we're changed and to do the install we need to run oops this one dos install so back here we type DOS dosinst dosinst there you go and off we go um, and of course you use your cursors to your cursor keys to move around so we want to install yes and keep the folder the same enter maximum yes OK, I'll see you in a minute. Right, that's it. Completely installed. So now we need to do a password. X will do. There we go. Enter. Um, now the sound setup. Uh, we run the auto detect. And then enter a detect and it finds a sound blaster, great okay and then we okay that okay so now what that's done is um, let's just go back here again it's installed the game into this folder here so th this is home folder max pack and the game is installed in here in games so thus, games karma. And to make the game run, um, and in high res, which is of course what we want, we've all got modern computers, is C A R N A space bash high res. And enter. Let's just do that. And then password for the uncut version. And off it goes. There you go. That's basically it. Um, it only works on the keyboard. Uh, you can enter full screen by pressing Alt and Enter, and it will bring it up to full screen. But uh, it runs very well. Um, you, and you can remap your keyboard if you wish. So um, the next thing I'm going to try and work out is how to do a nice shortcut from the desktop rather than having to you know, mount it every time and run, run DOSBox and whatnot. But um, okay, thanks a lot. I hope that helped.